you like to, I mean, obviously, you, you're just trying to keep the momentum going. Do you like the way you played tonight? Do you like the, all the things you were able to do and kind of keep them at a, at a distance and, and kind of? Yeah, we got three 25 point quarters. Uh, we thought we managed the game really well. We had three turnovers for the game and uh, a lot of good carryover from the film as far as just breaking down the layers of the defense with uh, our offense. And I thought our defensive execution was uh, really, really good. So, yeah, very happy. And, uh, you know, we got to do it again tomorrow. You guys are now 19 and 1, I believe, against teams in the bottom 10 in net rating. What has allowed your team to kind of take care of business uh, in matchups like that? Uh, I mean, top to bottom, uh, you know, because uh, you look at Sam, O'Shea, Luke, and just top to bottom, guys are always ready to play. So, uh, you know, from a team perspective, bring the right mindset every night. Uh, and uh, guys are always ready to play. So, I uh, got another big test tomorrow. I guess kind of a workmanlike win. I guess what do you appreciate about this group just not getting boring with the little things, especially at this point in the season? Uh, I'd say the biggest thing I appreciate is the, the carryover from either a film session, shoot around, whatever the case may be. There's, uh, we're always trying to find, like you said, win or lose a couple things that we need to get better at, a couple emphasis. And, uh, you know, I, I, I like that uh, we're continuing to keep our defensive identity by also trying to grow. You know, tonight we went 3 2 zone. Um, the, the guys did a great job executing it. The offensive end, we had really good carryover from the film session as far as how we need to get better at executing. So, uh, regardless of the win or loss, as long as we keep those things, you know, that's the most important thing. Joe, Jason's out there. I mean, it seems like at times he's struggling. He's trying to find a shot, he's trying to kind of get going. Hit 26, um, 8, and uh, hit 26, 8, and 5. Nine for twenty-three. I mean, yeah. just there's. But when Maxi did that, you said we couldn't stop him. No, he did that in the fourth quarter. Oh god! Okay, right. He, did a, he killed I remember he had quarter. like thirty points on twenty-eight shots, and you were like, "How come you couldn't stop him?" No, but he was. <laughs> I just. He killed, said, he killed said, him in the fourth quarter. It's the same thing. It's the uh, same exact situation. No, but my point is, is that do you pull him aside? Do you do anything to try to get him going or get? I think he's playing really good basketball. I think it's just. It just looks different. I mean, he had uh, at least I saw five potential assists tonight. He had 28, six, 28, 26, eight and three. Uh, he's he's being patient. He's understanding where the game is coming from. T uh, tonight he handled a little bit more on pick and roll, and uh, I thought he made some good plays. He missed a couple of easy baskets at the rim, but you know I think the whole uh, like you said, looking like he's struggling. I think that's kind of you can tuck yourself into some of those things, and I think people are so used to seeing him dominate in a different way. But we have a different team this year with different expectations, you know, and. Uh, the, the best thing, the most valuable thing that a guy like him can do is do what the game needs and do what the team needs and then also be able to be yourself, which uh, he's done for us. And so I think he just has to continue that. But uh, there was about five or six plays tonight that we went through in the film session that he had complete carryover for. And those are the things that I care about to where he was able to manipulate the game with the proper spacing, take the, the shot that he wants to take or get the ball where it needs to get to. And I thought he did that more times than not tonight. And that's where he's just got to continue to grow, you know? How do you feel Peyton did tonight, making the start at home? Yeah, I mean, uh, the best thing about Peyton uh, that people don't appreciate is his defense and his just tenacity. And so uh, we all know he could score. Uh, we all know he could shoot. But uh, his level of defensive intensity has been huge for us uh, throughout this year. And he's really uh, developed a role uh, in his defense and his rebounding. And then Sam. I mean, three-point defense is actually one of the strengths of the Portland defense. How is he able to find well, that? I think that goes back to uh, that was what we talked about today and how we have to find ways to break down those layers and having an understanding of, uh, you know, shot selection at different times. And guys like Sam are open on the second and third layer of the possession, you know, because you break that down. And, uh, the, you know, the guys, uh, I thought Jalen and Jason and Derek and our pick and rolls did a great job of breaking down those layers, getting it to them. And there was a couple where Peyton found them. And so I think it's just... Uh, trying to continue to break down those layers and get the ball where it needs to get to. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.